Stop taking drugs and eat your vegetables. Hello, you amazing editors out there. Are you interested in a project, sort of a fun little music video that I need done? Now, I don't have any money, so I can't pay you, but I can share your work here on my TikTok account, which has over 750,000 followers. All I need is for you to find a song that I recently composed called Heaven is Vegan, and just create a fun video of me flying around in the sky with some fruits and vegetables and some birds and you know, maybe the ocean below with some whales there, maybe some cows, chickens and pigs on the land or whatever. You know, be creative and have fun with it. It's okay to make fun of me as long as you just don't, you know, please don't put any dead animals in there. That's just, that's just mean. You know, we're trying to save animals here. But if you're interested in that project, I would love to see your work and to help promote you. And you know, why not? Why can't we just be friends, right? I help you, you help me. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Hello, you amazing editors out there. Are you interested in a project, sort of a fun little music video that I need done? Now, I don't have any money, so I can't pay you, but I can share your work here on my TikTok account. You know, I didn't think I'd be talking about paying artists for their work in this back and forth between me and that vegan teacher, but here we are. And for those of you who are new here, fun fact, actually really, really sad fact, I play the flute, so I know a thing or two about being offered exposure in exchange for my work. And for those of you who don't believe me, here's a little taste. <laughs> Now, I don't know if she's in the creator fund, but if she is, she definitely makes enough money from her views to pay whoever edits that video. Especially if she could end up making money off the video itself, too. But even if she's not in the creator fund, she still needs to be paying people for their work. And yes, exposure is great. But not paying someone just means you don't value the time they spent on the project or the time it took them to get as good as they are. Karen, be better. Hello, students. We will continue to discuss cognitive dissonance and hypocrisy as it applies to people who are against the animal rights activist movement. You know, it's a very strange thing, students. Sometimes people will go so low as to try to accuse you of being paid money to do the hard work that you do trying to save animals. Isn't that strange? And then they will also do things like insinuate that bartering for the goods and services of animal rights activists is somehow un-American. I know, it's really bizarre. And then lastly, they will do odd things, like this gentleman here, who decided rather than talk about the rape, torture, and abuse that goes on in the industry, and rather than confront his own cognitive dissonance, will somehow come out and play the flute for you to try to distract you. I know, if it wasn't sad that the animals were suffering, it would actually be funny. But you can be better than John. You can be vegan. Hello students, this is Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. We will continue our series today about cognitive dissonance and hypocrisy. And look at our case study here, Mr. John Robert Bell. Remember that we talked about the meat, dairy, and egg industries and how horrible they are. These are places that only care about making money and they will do anything at all to make that money, including treating the animals terribly. I urge you to continue to watch the documentaries that I've listed many times before. This is absolute essential homework in order to be able to discuss the subject. People like John Robert Bell do not do their homework, and we know what happens to kids who don't do their homework. They never get smarter. Unfortunately, John Robert Bell will probably take a little bit longer to become vegan, but he'll get there eventually. Anyone with a good heart does. Be better, everyone. Be vegan. Hello, students. Today we're going to continue our series about cognitive dissonance and hypocrisy as it applies to the animal rights movement. Now, there are certain people in every religion who really do not understand God completely, although they pretend to. Today we're going to talk about this gentleman here, who calls himself a father, although he's not my father, so I won't refer to him that way. His last name is Simon. This gentleman was seen in one of his videos making fun of the death of several animals, a chicken and the secretions of a cow whose baby was taken away, that being made into cheese. These two products come from extreme violence, and yet this man claims that he is going to go to heaven as long as he keeps asking for forgiveness. But you can be better than this man. Be better and be vegan. Hello, students. Hey, what up? Today we're going to continue our series about cognitive dissonance mm. and hypocrisy mm -hmm. as it applies to the animal rights movement. Of course. Now, there are certain people in every religion who really do not understand God completely. No, no one really understands God completely. Today, we're going to talk about this gentleman here. Hey, Father Simon. Who calls himself a father. No, don't put father in quotation marks. That's just blatantly disrespectful. And I'm not even Catholic. I'm Lutheran, and I would still call him Father Simon. And honestly, I find it quite amusing that you keep telling other people that they don't understand God completely when you have proven to the TikTok community over and over and over again that you are completely inept on talking about anything related to religion. So let me show you a video you should make. Hi students, I want to let you know that not being vegan won't prevent you from getting into heaven, but you can be vegan if you want. Hmm, 
That was pretty good, don't you think? So once again, Karen, stop talking about religion because you know nothing about it. And as always, Karen, be better. Hands up, do it this. Speciesism is the first form of racism and both of them are wrong. Be better, be vegan from now on. Okay? Okay, hooray! Speciesism is the first form of racism and both of them are wrong. Be better be vegan from now on. Okay? Not okay. So now that vegan teacher has bastardized the terms consent, body shaming, and we can add racism to that list. And while I don't think I need to explain why speciesism is nothing like racism, I do want to point this out. Karen, it's best not to throw stones in glass houses because you've shown us all that you're speciesist towards humans. And I always talked about the importance of signing our organ donor cards. But this year, for the first time in my life, I have decided not to sign it. And I've decided that there's no way on earth that I want any of you to ever get my organs if I die. The only people I would ever want would be vegan animal rights activists. So you value animal life so much over human life that you would let someone who is suffering who needs an organ die. If that's not speciesist, I don't know what is. Be better. Yes, John. It's late. I'm trying to sleep. Yes, I saw the video. No, I wasn't impressed. Because you have no idea what speciesism is. Me not wanting to give my organs to a bunch of people who are going to murder a bunch of animals is not speciesism. That's just me not wanting to give my organs to a bunch of murderers. What? No, I'm not going to make an exception and give you my heart. I know. I know you want to feel the way I do about the animals. It's really sweet. But John, you got to do the work yourself, okay? Just stop paying for murder and exploitation, be better, and be vegan. Good night! <sighs> okay, so you don't want to be vegan, but you do want to go to heaven. So let's imagine the scenario, okay? You've just died, and you're up there, wherever you think heaven is, and somebody's got a checklist, okay? So they're here taking notes, and they're saying, okay, you, yeah, your name. Okay, I have here in my notes that you were really great. You were really nice to cats and dogs, but oh, oh, here, there's something here. There was a teacher there back in uh, 2020. Her name was That Vegan Teacher, and she told you all about how animals are treated badly. The pigs, the chickens, the cows, the lambs, and I notice here that you decided not to be kind to these animals. You decided to keep paying for their murder. What is your justification for that? Why should we let you into heaven? if you knew about the violence, but you kept paying for it. Okay, so you don't want to be vegan, but you do want to go to heaven. So let's imagine the scenario, okay? You've just died, and you're up there, wherever you think heaven is, and somebody's got a checklist, okay? So, and I notice here that you decided not to be kind to these animals. You decided to keep paying for their murder. What is your justification for that? Why should we let you into heaven? if you knew about the violence, but you kept paying for it. Is she done? Okay, I think she's done. There was a whole lot more there, but I obviously had to cut it for time. And I wasn't gonna make a video today, but I do need to respond to this. The commenter literally told her that they were getting scared because of what she was saying, and that's how she chose to respond. You do not need to be vegan to go to heaven, okay? Point blank. And she knows that, but she's decided to weaponize the fear that many children have about being sent to hell to convince them to go vegan. And that makes her a terrible person. So Karen, be better and stop talking about religion. This video is going to be for that vegan teacher, so if you're not her, you can scroll along. Karen, I want you to take a look at this girl. She is the commenter that asked you in good faith if she would still go to heaven if she wasn't vegan, and she told you that she was scared. Now, I want you to listen to how relieved she is after she saw my video responding to yours. Thank okay, you. so you don't want to be vegan, I but you really do want to go to heaven. This a lot, John. So let's imagine this I'm scenario, okay? You've just died, and you're really there, for this. wherever you think. See, Karen, I know you think I'm some sort of bully to you, but nothing could be farther from the truth. You are terrorizing the young people on this app with the misinformation that you so carelessly spread, especially about religion. And if I have to call you out on it every single time, I will. So Karen, I expect you to apologize to her in a video. Because as someone who is a teacher, like yourself, you should know better. So Karen, you can continue down this destructive path all you want, but you're not taking TikTok with you. I'll make sure of that. Hello students, today we're going to continue our series about cognitive dissonance and hypocrisy as it applies to those who are fearful of the animal rights movement. This young lady here wrote to me as a teacher and asked me my opinion about whether she was going to go to heaven if she kept on eating animals after she knew about the rape, torture, confinement, and exploitation that they go through. I suggested to her that no, she would not be going to heaven. Heaven is for good people. Following that, John Robert Bell decided to defend her and said, Don't worry, sweetie, you're going to go to heaven anyway. To which she responded, Oh, thank you so much, John. I feel so much better now. 
These, my dear students, are examples of people who are in severe cognitive dissonance. They both know that they are not going to heaven if they keep on paying for the murder and exploitation of innocent animals, and they are in full 100% denial. young lady here wrote to me as a teacher and asked me my opinion about whether she was going to go to heaven if she kept on eating animals after she knew about the rape, torture, confinement, and exploitation that they go through. I suggested to her that no, she would not be going to heaven. Heaven is for good people. Okay, Karen, we're going to talk adult to adult here because it seems to me that you're not understanding that you basically told a child that they were going to hell. You exploited this girl's fears and anxiety regarding the afterlife to push your narrative of veganism. And while you may care a lot for the well-being of animals, you clearly do not care about the well-being of other people. Because that girl who you told wouldn't be getting into heaven was so relieved by my video reassuring her that not being vegan won't prevent her from getting into heaven that she was nearly in tears. You as a teacher should know far better on how to interact with young people. I'm so disappointed on how low you've decided to stoop. Be better. Hi, Iris. It's Miss Katie here, that vegan teacher. I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you directly. I know that you look up to John Robert Bell because he does do a lot of good. I've told him that. There is one major flaw that he has though. He has not taken the time to learn about how the animals are actually treated. I've looked over your profile. You and I have a lot in common. You say that you're pansexual, I get it. You are also a musician, so am I. You're also somebody who seems interested to learn, so am I. So I encourage you to look at all the documentaries that I'm going to post here. Please take the time and don't be afraid to change your mind about where you are right now. Your heart is in the right place for the animals. I saw your guinea pigs. I welcome you to come to our side. You are meant to be vegan. John Robert Bell, if you don't want to go to hell, be better. Be vegan, get it through your head. Tell your audience to eat veggie burgers instead. It's my turn to call God. Oh no, I think it's my turn. I think you did it last time. I have a few things to say to him. Me too. I want to talk to him about that guy. You mean John Robert Bell? Me too. I want to talk to him about him. Why is he such a meanie? Why does he tell people it's okay to eat rabbits? Why doesn't he just eat other things? I don't understand it. Why would he want to eat a duck? Why can't he just eat other things like tofu, beans, rice, lentils, pasta, chickpeas? I don't understand him. What is wrong with that guy? Miss Katie has been telling him over and over to watch the documentaries. He just refuses to do it. Why? Why does he want to eat my baby? Why would he tell people to do that? <gasps> Hello? God? You heard us this whole time? You're going to call John Robert Bell and tell him? Thank you so much! What? We can stay and keep living at that vegan teacher's house? Hooray! Hi John, this message is for you and I hope that your viewers will send it to you if, if for some reason you don't get it on your own. I just want you to know that I woke up to find out that you were banned and that I'm in complete shock and unless you did something in the middle of the night, like posted some video that was completely inappropriate, I do not think you should have been banned. And this is for everybody out there. You should all be outraged when somebody is banned just for giving their opinion. John Robert Bell is not a bad guy. Sure, I don't agree about his stance on religion. And sure, I'm not happy that he's not vegan. But people like him can become vegan because they have a heart. This is extremely upsetting. You know why the world is not vegan? Because they also censor the videos of the animals and how they suffer on factory farms. That's why none of you know or understand why we are so passionate about it. John, I'm really sorry that you're going through this and I hope to see you back.